Ah yes, my favorite game, Tower Defense Simulator. Time to make another solo fallen strategy. I've done this a hundred times before, nothing weird is gonna happen. It's gonna be pretty boring actually since I'm so good at this. I wonder what tower I'm gonna place for- wait, what is that? Dude, that thing is sus! No! 99 health gone already? Come on! Alright, I don't know what was going on with that map. It was really sus. I got as far away from there as possible. Surely I'm safe on this calm, peaceful map, surrounded by magic mushrooms, pleasant colors, and... No! Not again! No! That's right, guys. For today only, April 1st, 2021, also known as April Fool's Day, Tower Defense Simulator is major sus. The winter event has been ejected into space, and instead we got the imposter event? What? All right, here's the deal. For today only in Tower Defense Simulator, if you play a map on Fallen, the very first thing that'll spawn will be the imposter. It has 99 health, it moves very quickly, and only spawns on the first wave. If you manage to kill this little devil, you'll claim this suspicion badge that says when the imposter is sus you have one minute oh yeah that reminds me you only got one minute to kill it and that brings me to the main point of this video how do you kill it the imposter acts as a ghost so you can't just place a bunch of military bases because it'll go right through and because it moves so fast it'll easily get past any other defenses you place so I had to put my big brain on this case and I came up with two ways for you to vote off the imposter the easiest way and the one you're probably familiar with is to get some friends and head into the bottom falling map. In this map only, there's a glitch that catches certain enemies and sticks them to the middle of this bridge. That's gonna happen to the imposter. From there, you can pretty much use any regular tower to kill it. I mean, if you even have one friend, you can do this. And as you can see, I obviously have more than one friend. These are not kids my mom paid to hang out with me. But in the rare case that you're unlike me and you have to do it solo and you still want to get the badge, the good news is I was also able to do this as a solo. As you can see, right here. I only had to use a soldier and a couple of scouts, and I was able to kill the imposter in about 40 seconds. If you do this, be sure to change the targeting on your towers to strongest, so they keep on targeting the imposter while the regular zombies walk by. Once you kill that sus fellow, you'll see the badge pop up on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You don't see it here because I've already gotten it using a different method, which I'm going to show you right now. In my opinion, this is the best and most fun way to get the badge because eight people can get it at once, and it's super easy. Head on into polluted wasteland and make sure everyone places a soldier as close to the center of the path as possible. This will be enough to kill the imposter before he gets to the end, even though he runs fast like Santa. And as you can see, bam, now I have the badge. And you don't have to finish the game either, I left right after this and you can see the badge is here in my inventory. Of course, you can also take a bunch of randoms into Autumn Falling and do it that way too. I just want to show you that there's more than one way to beat this event. Speaking of more than one way, if you use the polluted wasteland method, you can also have someone place a freezer and someone else place an electroshocker because those will work to slow him down which will give your towers more time to attack him and kill him even faster. We went back into the polluted wasteland map again to test this theory and as you can see it works. Now just to remind you this can only be done today. It's an April Fool's Day event so if you don't get the badge today you're never going to be able to get it again. Luckily for y'all I'm a nice guy that wants to help out the community which is why I'm going to suspend all my other activities for the rest of the day and instead spend my time helping you guys get this badge. I'm gonna try and just join random public matches and find people that need help. So if you see me, join me or just join off of my username on Roblox. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to follow me on Roblox. Now I'm gonna show you the sound the imposter makes when he spawns and when he dies. That's pretty cool, right? Here they are again. The sound he makes when he gets into your base is the same sound he makes when you kill him. Obviously, he's saying, Among Us. The commander also has some unique dialogue. He says, Hello? Is this Among Us? Imposter? Is this the imposter from Among Us? Which is really sus because everybody knows it is. This year's April Fool's Day event is different from the one they did last year, which I did make a video about. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go check it out. I'll put the link for it in the description below. Basically, every single face on every single tower was changed to something funny. I thought it was hilarious. It had me cracking up at the way that some of the towers looked. It just added some spice and variety to the regular game to change things up for a day and made the towers look so weird. You know what would be funny for next year? 
year, give the zombies funny faces. For me, personally, I liked last year's event better, but let me know which one you guys like more in the comments below, the funny faces or the imposter is sus. And that's all the sus news I have for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And while you're at it, go ahead and join my growing Discord community. You could do that at discord.gg slash just Harrison things. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.